Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and you're probably looking at the screen here and thinking to yourself, well, that's not what I kind of expected in regards to what this video is about. But I had a request, and someone wanted me to talk about, basically, they were concerned because they want to go ahead and fight some sentinels, but they're having a hard time with it, and they want to know what's the best way to protect themselves. What is the easiest way, or basically, what is the best way to protect yourself and to... Uh, so you don't have to worry as much when you're fighting Sentinels. Well, granted, yes, having a great multi-tool, having the right uh, upgrades on your multi-tool, things like that, especially for the weapons, really does make a difference. But you know what? They're going to hit you once in a while. They're going to get some shots off. They're not like Stormtroopers. These guys can actually hit you, and they can usually plan ahead, if, especially when you get to the mechs that try to attack you. They will actually plan ahead. As you go to run in one direction, they can, they can lob a, uh, a grenade at you, knowing that you're going to be a few steps in that direction and they will lob it in the direction that you're headed so that way when you get there it meets you there so they're really pretty good at the at the aiming that they get done so you're wondering to yourself well hey i should probably get some armor uh especially if i can go to the quicksilver store and get some of these things like getting this nice armor that we have here uh which is called the armored shoulder pads very expensive three thousand quicksilver right same thing with the gloves and the legs you can get those armored leggings but you know what honestly it's all a facade. Those particular pieces that you see on here, I just like the way they look. That's the only reason I'm wearing them. They literally do nothing to protect your character from anything in the game whatsoever. No matter what size or shape your character is, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So basically, what do we do? What's really the, the, the point of all this? So let's go ahead and get out of here. We don't need to be here. And I'm going to show you a little something. So let's get out of my ship here. Hold on. It's like a maze sometimes. I actually put these guys here so I could know where my uh, front front door is. <laughs> a little sneakiness there. Let's head down to the bay. Jump in my ship. And we're going to head down to a planet real quick. Now, as you know, you should probably, when you first start the game, you have your basic shield. And no matter what planet you land on, some planets are worse than others. Like, for instance, this one down here is a radioactive planet. Yes, my freighter was upside down. It's a little glitch in the game that happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. It's normal. All right. Nearly bottomed out. That was pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and land here. And I'm going to get out, and I want to show you something. So again, you have your shield, and I do have a radio, radio, uh, radiation protection on my, on my ship, uh, on my person. So if you look at the bottom left, it'll appear in just a moment. There it is. Does makes extreme radiation. I have a radiation shield, and you'll see that my heart is doing pretty good right now. I've got a bit of oxygen. I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to injure myself here, okay? Now look at the top left, and you see all those pluses up there. That's pretty neat, right? How did we get all those? Now, right now, it looks like there might be a glitch going on because I shouldn't have any of those right now. So let's take a look and take a look at all the charges in here. we got some, some nice, you know, backup and everything like that. Here they are. But then we have these. So let's get these out of here. See how they have the plus on them? And I'm going to get pull them out real quick. Let's pull these and put them down here. All right. They're gone now, right? How many pluses do I have? I'm down to six now, right? That's pretty interesting. So how did we get those? Now, you usually start out with, I think, three, if I remember correctly. And then as time goes by, you can acquire more. Now, my life support is not on any particular spot. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I do have a jetpack currently in a charging position. And we got this over here. This over here. There's nothing special. Recharge rate, sprint recoveries, nothing going on with these guys. There's literally nothing in this inventory that should affect or give me any extra protection except maybe some cold and heat resistance and things like that. Right? Everything looks okay. Until we get to some of these, right? All right. So how do we get all those hearts? Well, let's take a look. Now, this is an oxygen rerouter. Let's go ahead and put this back in. Okay? Doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. We're going to oxygen recycler. We're going to put in. You probably have that at some point as, as well or another. I'm going to put it over here. And what do we got here? We got vacuum harvester. So now this is one of my upgrades. What kind of upgrade did it give me? 34% and 82%. That's pretty good. This one is giving us 87 and 28 this one is giving us 80 and 31. 
So I'm going to not put those in here and here. I'm saving those for these upgrades. The Anointed Bulwark. What does that give me? It gives me life support, shield strength, fuel efficiency, good stuff, right? This one gives me core health 33%. Now, I'm going to take it back out for just a second. And we got a storm going on, so I'm going to have to watch my radiation protection. So remember how, how big my hearts are. I have to injure myself so you can see that. I still have six hearts, right? Let's take a look now. Oh, great. It's even more storm. Extreme wind. That means we're going to fly around all over the place. See this? That just gave me an extra heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I put it in my upgraded part, I still have the same amount of hearts, but it's giving me a boost to that at this time. So it's over here. It's giving me a 41%. Now what happens is, is if I take another one with the same kind of upgrade, this one has 33% health again, and I drop it in here, that's going to give me... Let me get up and down real quick. Yep. If I get caught in a tornado, it'll be even better. There's one right there. See? This is going to be fun. Now look how many I have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Yep, I'm getting sucked in. This ought to be fun. This is what killed Delta-1 in one of his permadeath runs, but the, the, tree, the trick is save your jetpack. And just watch where you're going. And if you want to get out of it, just head to one side or the other. Get your jetpack once in a while. Whew, this got me going. See? And come down. And you're all set. Uh, where'd my ship go? There it is. It's all the way over there. So I'm gonna head back to the ship now. That was fun. What a, what a what a perfect timing for all this. You notice my radiation protection is falling. Let me go ahead and charge that back up. There we go. All right. Now we, again, we've got eight of those hearts, right? How do we get more? Well, that comes into play with the shields. You see, each one of these, when we put it in here, has a 33% core health. And it gives you more shield strength. And that's the really big thing that you're looking for on these. So I'm going to drop these in here. And they all give me 33 extra percentage, right? You do have a maximum amount you're allowed to have. So when I have eight hearts right now, I think I can only get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that is the maximum you can get is nine. So I'm literally maxed out with the amount of hearts. Now my shield strength is now boosted. Because I've got 30% shield strength, so my shields are a lot stronger now against and protects me against other creatures. So these ones that look like this, that look like the ball, like a shield around you, like little death stars or little anomalies, that's what you're looking for. Those are the ones that will help protect you even more. So that is as it is. And they all add up to each other. So try to keep them next to each other, and they should add more to everything over here as well. And you're in better shape that way. So that will help you. Also, try to get some good upgrades for your jetpack. So these upgrades that I have here, I don't have the best upgrades right now, but my X-Class upgrades are pretty good. I just got sucked in again. <laughs> so they are pretty good, but that helps your jetpack get better. Um, I just want to make sure I'm keeping an eye on things. As we have fun watching me get tossed around like a, uh, I don't know, a piece of tissue paper on this thing. Good grief. Woo, that was fun. Um, right now, my my uh, my character here is throwing up in his helmet. Yep, I think you just saw his head jerk there. Yeah, he just threw up in his helmet. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's another one over there. Uh, where is said ship? There you are. That was fun. So those are very important. So when you're fighting your sentinels, which there happens to be one nearby, it gives you extra protection as far as your shield strength is concerned too. For the time being, I'm going to jump in my ship and wait this one out. So that is basically how you help protect yourself. So let's go back to our exosuit for a moment. So getting some decent upgrades, like I have some X-Class upgrades, 229%, 228%. This one is at 232 So it's actually just a little bit better than my X-Class upgrades. So I drop that into my supercharged slot, and it gives me a little bit of a boost up to 290 so sprint distance is excellent. Initial boost power is really good. Fuel efficiency. These are things you're looking for. This is how you, you get better at, at what you're trying to do. This should protect you against most anything. 
All right, storm clearing. I can see a tornado in the distance there. And it looks like, wow, look at all the animals it killed. Look at that. What a mess. I guess even in No Man's Sky, the animals can't get away from it all. So now that you have this happening... So just a... There we go. Eh, I was hoping he'd shoot at me. So I've started a, a fight here, and I'm just going to walk over here. And just so you know, I'm not going to do a thing. I'm not even going to fight them. They're just going to go ahead and shoot at me now. So look at my health at the top. All right, maybe they're not as good as maybe they're just about as good as stormtroopers. Sometimes they keep expecting me to move, to to leave. And see that one's lobbing grenades at me. And literally, I can stand here and I can take this. I'm not getting hurt at all. Oh, that one just took out a rock. That's pretty cool. See? And you see, my health is only dropping a little bit. It's not as bad as you might think. Now, the problem is, the thing you have to be careful of, is that it could damage components on your person. So, once that starts happening, you're in bad shape. See? So... So having, again, the right weapon does make a difference. And you collect those little green barrels, they come in really handy. Right, right here. So watch. See? It heals you up. And gives you stuff. So go ahead and grab it while you can. So that's what I would suggest doing. And if you really don't feel like fighting them, wait for the timer to come up. And just relax. Make sure you look somewhere where they're going to be, and your sentinels will pop up in that direction. See? There they are. I'm just going to get rid of that one because I don't want it anywhere near me. And we got 22 seconds to, to burn up. I don't even have to run hard from these guys because they haven't seen me yet. They don't know where I'm coming from. So I'm just walking away. Do, do, do. Three, two, one, and done. Now we don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, so that's it basically. As you can see, I didn't really worry at all about getting hurt by these things. They damaged me a little bit, but in the end, nothing on my person got damaged. All of my items up here are okay. Most of them can be repaired with items you gather throughout the game, but if you if you notice when you look at my inventory, you see I do carry a lot of things with me. Um, to be honest, it's not a bad idea. I carry almost every single element that you could possibly get in the game. There are certain things that you don't need to carry. You know, I really, like ammonia is a good idea to carry because it, it charges up one shield. Uranium charges a different one. Having silver and gold on you to produce certain items is a good idea, including paraffinium, though I'm running a little low on that. Even these elements down here are good to have in your inventory only because sometimes you have to open up a portal on another planet. So it's good to have those. Ognium, same way. Even a little bit of feceum is handy to have on you. Yes, I know. It's lots of jokes, all joking aside. So that's the reason why I keep a lot of these things on me, including chromatic metal, obviously. But they help to rebuild these. So if something breaks, you have some ferrite dust or some magne magnetized ferrite or something like that you can use to repair it. Also, too, something that you don't see in my inventory here, but I usually keep on my starship, I like to keep some of these on here, some wiring looms. I don't have a lot here. But my freighter, when I can pull it in, you see, i got 40 of them sitting right here. Um, and a whole bunch more other stuff that's not really important right now. But it also, if your freighter is in the same system, you see, I carry quantities of other items in my inventory just in case, including upgrades, some crafted technologies, uh, plants and crystals and things like that. Things that I can get on other planets. It's usually a good idea to keep a collection of them. Some alloys. Reality glitches, some standard upgrades. And you notice in the standard upgrade areas, I've even got some salvage data in case I need it. Some charts, etc., etc. And all the way back around to here. So I keep, like I said, a good quantity of wiring looms on me just in case. And I used to have a good selection of wiring looms in one of my other inventories, but I'm not seeing it right now. And you might have seen it when I was in here looking. I used to have a whole heck of a lot more stacks upon stacks of it, but I'm not seeing it right now. So I might have finally eliminated most of that, and I don't carry it anymore. 
it's not a big deal. I'll get more. So it's a good idea to keep that on hand on your person. So just saying, that's not a bad idea at all. Anyway, so that's just a short video here. and It's only been about 15 minutes just to give you a rundown of what you can do to protect yourself in the future while you're fighting Sentinels. Don't panic. And if you really do feel like you might panic, find a building. Find a building that you can hide in. So you can fight them and duck behind, fight them, duck into it, things like that. Okay? So, again, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next video. If you guys have any questions, by all means, please put it in the comments section. Um, please hit the like and subscribe. It always helps, and you know how the metrics are about these kind of things. And I appreciate you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care, everybody.